so as i am discussing about the different section what is that in a figure you must have an axis axis means what it is generally think as a as a plot okay in a figure it may contain the axis there are the two or three axis 3d figure will going to have three axis so axis uh, those the axis object each axis has should have a title x level and y level now axis there are the number of lines in the uh, that will be taken as a graph when you generate the graph so there are the artist means in every case you have to see in the artistic types of that means text object line 2d object collection object most of most of the objects that uh, the axis are their labels there are the different type of dimensional labels are there so to inform those labels so as you have, as i have shown you there are labels are there after the titles is there okay those x label and y label that means naming of the x and y so different type of labeling are there uh, so these are what are the different form of your particular designing of the graph so let us see the different form of the graph okay so those the different uh, different sections of the graph what you will going to see so each of these sections that are there so each of these sections what are there you will going to see it that how it is work now let us see this first section so this is the first section what you see that simple program i have done with draw, draw a line chart so import maths plot leave dot pi plot as p l t what i have said there that has been done here now p l t dot plot now here i have taken the range 1 2 3 5 7 4 okay so two plotting range so plot shows what to display the chart now plt shows now how to display the chart of it let us run the particular program and uh, let us see what it will going to give the output okay so in this case you will going to see it that a chart will be drawn based on it see here based on the axis that you have declared based on the axis that has been declared here 1 2 3 <coughs> 1 2 3 and 5 7 4 so 5 7 4 within this particular section from 5 it has started then it went into 7 that it comes into 4 now as it comes into 4 where what you are seeing here that there is one more section is there 1 2 3 so it started from this point so this is the 1 okay this is the 2 see here at the 2 and in 7 it touches and at 4 this is the 4 see the 4 portion 4 and 3 it matches so this is how you can see your plotting of the graph will be done okay so this is one of the simple very simple line graph that has been drawn and i have uh, drawn for you a very simple line graph where you can see those the axis has been used and using those different type of lines you can choose the different sections that where it will going to touch in the x axis and where it will going to touch in the y axis see it the lines see the lines where two if this is one this is one this is 1.5 then this is the two this is the two at the highest peak 2.5 then three okay so similarly from here 7 6.5 6 this will be take by its own 5.5 5 then 4.5 then 4 so this is how your total line chart or the line graph will be drawn and based on this line graph what you will going to find your graph will be drawn in front of you this is the figure based on which the graph is been drawn so this how you can see it this is the thing what you can find it that these are the axis that say if you increase it okay this is also the options there if you increase it if you decrease it that can be also done you can increase this figure see you can increase this figure any way you can do it okay so any of the sections little bit more you can stretch it see here so this is the area based on which you are changing the different sections different part of your drawn graph okay this is the section how you can change the different part of your drawn graph this is what the graph is